Hey guys, it's me Tolha. In this video, we will model this pergola sitting in Revit. This will be a two-part tutorial. In the first one, we will create this model in Revit. And in part two, I will show you how to render this in Enscape. Before I get started, I would like to suggest you check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my Patreon to get all my Revit project files. Now let's get started so here i'm in revit and first i'm going to create a floor here so select floor and i'm going to create a 16 feet by 16 feet floor let's make it 16 feet 16 on this side as well perfect let's click finish and now we can create a wall here so let's go to architecture select wall and change the unconnected height to 10 feet and location line to finish face exterior and just create a wall here like so if i go to 3d see we got our floor as well as uh, this wall here now to create the planters and the seating i'm going to use model in place so let's go back to level one and let's select model in place from this drop down and select generic model from this list click ok let's call it planters and seeding click ok and now i'm going to use extrusion to create the planters so select extrusion and draw a rectangle let's make it 12 feet and the width will be 1 foot 6 inch perfect let's click finish and go back to 3d and you see uh, we got our extrusion here now to change the height of this we just need to select that and change the extrusion end here let's make it five feet and now we can create a void here so let's go back to level one go to create select void uh, extrusion from this drop down and then select rectangle again and then give two inches offset and just draw a rectangle here just hit space bar once to draw the rectangle inside uh, of the uh, this extrusion let's click finish and go to 3d and our extrusion is not visible here so let's just drag that out of this extrusion go to the front view and drag it from here as well let's leave it here so we got something like this our planter is now ready we can just create uh, a sweep here so let's go to create select sweep pick path pick these edges here and go to the front view first click finish uh, finish path and then uh, edit profile and just draw a simple uh, profile here it will be two inch by one one inch let's click finish finish again and you see we got uh, our planter ready here now we can just copy this to the other side then we will just change the height of this planter so let's go back to level one and if you notice the other uh, the sweep is not visible here and this plan view so to make it visible here you just need to edit view range so press vr on the keyboard and this dialog box will pop up here you just need to change the cut plane uh, offset if you remember the height of this planter is five feet so we need to give any uh, anything above uh, five feet so let's try six feet click apply there you go uh, this sweep is now visible here now let's click ok select all of this and then rotate make sure copy is checked just rotate it 90 degrees perfect let's just move it here okay i want to delete this sweep and then uh, change the height of this so select this extrusion and let's make it three feet now we need to move the void also but before that let's just drag this extrusion until here until the face of this one now select void edit extrusion 
go back to level one and first just drag it until here and then move two inches perfect let's go back to 3d now go to the front view and just drag this void extrusion like so so we got these two planters here let's just mirror this one uh, to the side so let's go to level one so just select this planter mirror mirror from the middle of this floor here perfect let's change the height of this uh, planter to two feet three inches and then just drag it until here and just take that out of this extrusion as well now let's select the sweep edit sweep pick path and just delete this the previous one and then use pick uh, pick 3d edges and pick the edges here click finish and let's see the profile i think we need to move the profile so let's go to the front view select this profile edit profile and just take that uh, just move it out of the uh, extrusion here now let's click finish finish again so we got uh, this sweep here as well now you just need to move this void extrusion let's select that edit extrusion go to level one just drag it here and move it two inches here also move two inches click finish and uh, let's go to the front view and I'm just going to drag this here perfect so we have created our planters here now here I think we need to delete this void I think there is an extra void extrusion here so we need to delete that just select this extrusion and delete this one now it's perfect so we have created uh, our planters now we can create the seating here so let's go back to level one and go to create select extrusion again and use pick lines and uh, we want to give two feet three inches offset from here and then two feet six inches from here let's use tr and trim these lines and uh, just drag this one until here and we can uh, create lines just close that from here and then let's select this line and make it eight feet click finish and we can uh, change the height of this to 10 inches so we got our seating here now we can create the cushions uh, on the seating for that we can use a sweep and extrusion so first let's create a sweep go back to level one select sweep and sketch path let's draw a rectangle here again this will be three feet ten inches let's just drag this until here and then let's move it two inches from this side as well as here two inches and uh, let's click finish and now we can uh, create the sweep profile so click edit profile go to the right view here and let's change the visual style to wireframe and draw the profile here for the sweep okay we'll create from this seating here so let's create eight, eight inch one inch on this side and just close this rectangle and then uh, we can create a small circle like so and then just use sl to split the circle so we can trim so split this one then tr just trim that okay we actually need to split the circle from uh, this side so split then trim trim here as well now uh, instead of creating another one we can just delete this line 
and just mirror uh, this one so use mirror mirror from the middle of this line perfect let's uh, let's delete this line and we'll create a curve line here so select arc and draw from this circle to this so we have created this profile now let's click finish finish again and there you go we have created uh, this sweep here now we can create an extrusion to create the uh, the cushion so let's go back to level one go to create select extrusion and just draw a rectangle here change the visual style to wireframe let's drag it here click finish go back to 3d and just drag this extrusion until here or we can use uh, align tool so al so select the face here and then this extrusion there you go i think from the bottom also we need to drag that until this seating perfect so we have created this cushion here i'm just going to copy this to the uh, other side here so let's go back to level one first i will just move it to the corner on this side also now copy from here let's create uh, so here we need to edit this edit the size of this cushion so i'm just going to drag that until here and then select the sweep edit sweep and then sketch path and just drag this line until the edge of this extrusion then click finish and uh, there you go we got these two questions here now i'm just going to repeat the same procedure to create the questions on this side as well so i have created the cushions here now we can create the shade so for that let's go back to level one now first i'm going to create a frame here using sweep so select sweep from here then sketch path select rectangle and give two inch offset here because our the profile of this sweep uh, is going to be two inches so let's uh, draw a rectangle from here from that corner to this again just hit space bar once to draw the rectangle inside of uh, this floor here perfect let's go back to 3d and just drag this reference line to this one so we can easily draw our profile in the front view here now first uh, click finish uh, the sketch path and then uh, select profile or you can we can create a profile from here so click edit profile and then uh, first i will just draw a simple rectangle here a two inch by eight inch eight inch on this side and then we can use line and just draw uh, lines like this let's make it one inch and one inch gap here as well and then use split sl and split this line and then tr to trim it trim these lines and then we can create another line from the middle here half inch line and then make it one inch and let's delete this one and mirror these two lines from the middle and then delete this one sl then trim so i have created uh, this profile for the frame now i think we need to move this inside because we want to create it uh, from this wall here now let's click finish finish again there you go we got this frame here now we can create the fabric shade here so let's go to right view 
and then you see we cannot actually draw uh, right now the reason for that is the work plane is set to uh, level 1 so we need to change the work plane so just click here set work plane pick a plane and uh, let's pick the face of this uh, let's pick the face of this extrusion you can do that by by pressing the tab key to highlight this face then click and let's change the visual style to wireframe so we can see uh, this uh, the middle of this frame now let's use arc and draw one foot six inch arc here like so use pick lines and give 0.1 inch uh, uh, offset here and then pick this line and close from here on this side as well perfect now let's click finish and just orbit around you see we got this extrusion here let's just drag it to this face here face of this frame and on this side as well perfect now let's create uh, some more copies of this extrusion so go to right view again select this extrusion change the visual style to wireframe and co for copy from here to this corner and to this one add one more perfect so we got our shade uh, fabric shade here as well so i think we have finished modeling this pergola sitting now we can assign material parameters to these generic models so first let's select this frame and to create a new material parameter you just need to click this button and then create a new parameter let's call it metal or frame or whatever you want to call it then click ok ok again and let's select these extrusions and I'm going to call them shade fabric click ok ok again and let's select the planters click here again create new parameter planters okay now let's select the seeding and I will call it seeding and then we have these uh, cushions so let's select all of this then create a new material parameter cushion click ok ok again so we have created this pergola sitting in Revit so this video is already too long so I'm going to stop this tutorial right here in the next part we will uh, apply the Enscape materials and use the Enscape assets and render this in Enscape so stay tuned for that that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my website learnrevitonline.com to get my Revit advanced courses as well as you can check out my patreon to get uh, my Revit project files and yeah I will see you guys in the next video